Alright, this is my picture. So let's try the phone as we did with the dodgy. Wow, what's going on? I don't know myself, you know. It's not working. Wow, it did! <laughs> it did work, you can see, you're locked. Okay, another try. Wow! Don't use this, this is not face ID, this is picture ID, to be honest. What's up guys? This is Ukitel K6. I'm going to be unboxing this for right there. But before I go into the unboxing of the Ukitel, I think I have a surprise for you guys. You know, in case you're wondering, you want to try fast charging, I mean wireless fast charging, you know, like maybe you have a phone that supports fast charging wirelessly and you can't afford to buy the expensive phone. I'm talking about this product right here, you know. This small beast costs less than, I think less than 20 pounds. So I'm guessing 15 quid or something. I'm gonna link the link in the description below. So this thing will charge practically anything that is fast charging. You know, it doesn't really matter if you're on Windows, if you're on um, iOS or if you're on um, Android. You know, it's gonna charge everything. I'm gonna test this right now. Just bear me one minute, guys, please. Um but it does say fast charging if you're gonna be charging this with an adapter that is not fast charger you're just gonna get the regular wireless charger but if you're using this samsung you know samsung fast charge any samsung fast charger will charge this thing you know anyone so i'm gonna test it right here just one minute guys because so let's put it right there so still micro usb just put it on the back that's it. So now you get that blue light there. So I'm gonna bring my Samsung. You see, you see that. And if you look very closely, I'm gonna zoom in. Let me zoom in. You're gonna see it say fast charge. Unfortunately, it's only on Samsung that it will display fast charging. I suppose and I believe it's fast charging on all the devices. So if you're wondering, maybe you support iPhone. You know iPhone X, the latest iPhone, iPhone 10 support fast charging. So let's put it on it too. So. Did you see that? It's charging. Did you see that the corner there? In case you're wondering, let me zoom in there. You see? This is crazy. This, this little beast right there is really, really impressive. And on Windows, so this is Lumia 950 XL. Let's put it on it. Do you hear that sound? And you can see it's charging too. I'm gonna to zoom in because it's very small, tiny icon. You can see that bar at the top of it. You can see that it's charging too. So that is about this. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description, like I said, if you're wondering. I don't think it costs more than 20 pounds, and I suppose it will not cost more than 20 dollars, you know. It still support your phone. It doesn't really matter which angle, you know. See, it doesn't matter which angle, and it can start as a phone stand, you know. It doesn't really matter which angle you're placing it. It's dual coil, according to the specification. You see, it's still charging, and on the Lumia again. I'm gonna try it the last time. Then we jump into the main topic of today, the Ukitel K6. So that's it, guys. Very nice thing if you can afford it. It's not too bad, and if you think you need it, don't buy those stupid, expensive fast charger out there. It's so crazy and it's just worthless, you know. I mean the wireless fast charging. Don't buy them. Just buy this. Okay, guys. So let's jump into the unboxing of the Ukitel cases. <laughs> this phone. I think I'm so excited about this phone. The reason why I got this phone is because of the camera. To be honest, but it got some freebies too. I mean the NFC, the 6,300 million battery. This you will never get for that price. I'm telling you. But we are here to see what the phone look like. Bear in mind, I've not opened this phone. I'm just gonna do the unboxing right here, right now. So let's jump into the unboxing, guys. 
Okay, so you open the box, you're gonna be greeted with the phone. Okay, so let's bring the phone now. Oh my days, this is hard. Take out. Okay. Um, wait a minute. This phone is heavy, but I suppose it's because of the 6,300 million battery. It can be forgiven. So, hmm, kind of like this, you know, it's different. So what do we get here? This is your SIM ejector. So what do we have in this? Something for us? Uh, unfortunately, this is just paperwork, nothing. Just the warranty card and the paperwork. So let's go into the other boxes. From the image, you know, from the little icon on those boxes, you should be able to tell what is there. So this is the plug. I can bring this up, but not there. So that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's fast charging adapter. Though there's nothing written on it that says fast charger, but I believe it's fast charging. They won't tell lie. It's written on the website. So let's leave this here. So what do we have here? Practically, that's everything in the box. Um, this is a connector. Oh, shame. Looking at this, it means the phone does not have 3.5 mm module jack. Okay. And this is the charging cable, the USB Type-C charging cable. So that's everything you get right from the box. So let's put everything aside. Oh, nice. How nice this can be. The jelly case was part of the packaging. Came with the phone right there. Okay, so take this out. Let's peel it off. Put it away. I'm going to power up the phone. Let's see what it looks like. So let's have a quick look at the specification of the phone. Let's start from the side. On the side you have the volume rockers, the power button, at the bottom just your charger. Good! I like this. You see what I'm saying? I think it's high time these people are listening to us. No stereo speaker. Just one single speaker. No fooling. You can see. Can I move it closer? You can see. Nobody's fooling with you here. Just stereo, no stereo. Just single speaker. And this is your microphone that's it that's how phone should be at the side there you have your sim tray so that is the phone so specification of this phone a very quick one i suppose the 6300 million battery is part of the selling point nfc is part of the selling point too so this will now inbuilt nfc we're gonna test that out too hopefully we're gonna test everything now and see what we're getting so let's have a quick look at the specification the screen is 6.0 inches you know 18 by 9 aspect ratio full hd plus 6 gig ram 64 gig ram mediatek 6763 you know that was the processor is using is a medium processor what can you get for the price it's a medium processor support quick charge that means it's going to charge your phone from zero percent to 50 percent in half an hour according to what was written on the website you know but we're still going to test this in a big way when i do the final review the camera at the back which of them i don't know but one is 21 megapixel camera sensor and one is 13 pixel camera sensor at the front i don't know which is which one is 13 and one is 8 so 8 and 13 so four camera phones that's fine this phone has four cameras and at the same time they claim this phone has face id but i believe is what i expressed on the doji me so i'm gonna set up the phone very quickly then let's see what the phone looks like okay guys the phone is booted now so i install a few applications i'm gonna be testing with the phone so first of all let's see how the gps does function so let's go into the gps app and see what we're gonna be getting indoors you know because reading well i don't think it's that bad you know it's not too bad it's still picking yeah it's still picking well, I think um, this is not too bad for the price of the phone, so you can't really complain much because I'm indoor and I'm still getting this, so I think I'll be alright with that. So now, let's go into the speed test. Let's see what the Wi-Fi speed test will look like when we try to test the phone. That's another thing I would like to test. Don't forget this phone has um, Face ID or Photo Unlock. I always call it Photo Unlock because 
I believe, or well, don't let me say what I don't know. Or I'm guessing is the same style of the Dodgy Mix 2. But I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take a picture with my phone with the Galaxy like I did with the Dodgy Mix 2. Then I'm gonna see if I can fool the phone with just my picture. You know, okay, that's what you're gonna be getting for the Wi-Fi speed test. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, it's good. I'm gonna come back to Antutu. So let's go into the settings. Let's see what we get in the settings. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm saying too. Okay, so that's it. Okay. All right. Oh, what's full screen mode? I'm guessing this will force all the application to use full screen, which is very good. You know, this one, you can see all these are set by default. You cannot tamper with them. You cannot change them. So all the application you install, you know, will come on full screen mode by default you know once you've installed them you can see everything will be set to full screen mode but at the same time you can turn it off if you don't want it you know you can turn it off so gesture i know so let's see fast capture i think it's double tap to wake up let's see on okay you can send content card emulation so it's so that means tap and pay yeah so it means you can use Android Pay with this bank support wireless payments like you know like my bank do support wireless payments so you can use it you can see it says at the bottom using that using device to tap and pay as Google Wallet credit card EEC so that's it so good job good job I think this phone is gonna really trash all those phones in this category to be honest with you that's just what I know because having an NFC on the phone is a good thing for the phone itself so now where is the security so i can go to face unlock then set myself okay face lock all right so that's it done. so we're done with the face lock it's failing at the moment okay it did now okay it's working now Unfortunately, okay, it did work. So I think it's working now. So let's take a picture of myself. All right, this is my picture. So let's try and fool the phone as we did with the dodgy. Wow, what's going on? I don't know myself, you know, it's not working. Wow, it did! <laughs> it did work, you can see, you're locked. Okay, another try. Wow! Don't use this, this is not face ID, this is picture ID, to be honest. Just use your fingerprint sensor. Just use your fingerprint sensor. Look at my picture. I think it did unlock it twice, you know. So, another try. Wow. Just use your fingerprint sensor, guys. It did. I did fold the, pic, the phone, to be honest. So, oh, now let's go into the phone details. So, I'm going to turn off the NFC. I don't know what. Another thing is, you can see there's an update waiting for me to, to download. You know, let's see what update we're going to be getting with the phone. Okay, it says Ukito. KCSV, so I don't know what those code means. And the update is 424 megabyte. Minor bug fixes. Okay. I'm gonna download it, but I'm not gonna install it now, guys. I'm not gonna install it because I'm just gonna do what I can do. Then I'll install later. So let's jump into the Antutu and let's see what score we're gonna be getting with this phone. Alright, guys. So it's called 52,992. That's not too bad for this cause, to be honest with you. I think it's all right, considering the price of the phone. Let's go into the camera. Let's see what the camera looks like on the phone. Okay, here is the camera of the phone. To be honest, I don't know what I feel like. I just think it's the same, the same old style, the same everything, you know. But when you look about focusing, I think it does focus very quickly, you know. 
that's for sure I think it does focus very quickly when you consider focusing of, of an object I think it does focus very quickly so let's take a picture and let's see what it does look like I don't like that sound right so this is what it looks like on the phone it looks more kind of vibrant but to be honest I don't know maybe I should go into the settings let's see HDR on okay let's take another picture oh just so you see there's shorter delay okay that's it let's see um this is better but it's still noise there's still noise ah we need to test this outdoor this is better but there's still noise i don't think you know i will need to test this outdoor but it's better so in case you want with that hdr on so oh i don't like those stuff so face beauty blur oh you can see the blur is same old boring blur i used to tell you guys i rather want one single camera just one single camera good one even if it's 12 megapixel rather than this bullshit sorry for that language but i don't like when they say dual camera and it's just giving us some kind of vignette issue this is what monochrome looks like you know mono this is how mono looks like on the phone okay so promo just to control brightness and contraction in my own opinion you know that's what i think so that's just about the camera i think uh the camera was just marketed wrongly you know i thought it would be better than this to be honest considering the 21 megapixel large sensor you know my thought was this is gonna be better than the rest but it's all right but not the no i think it's falling in the same category of all camera just like the miss alpha but it's all right you're not gonna complain come on you're not paying too much for this so why should you complain you know focusing is all right you know focus very quickly that's cool on the head yeah very quickly you know focus is very quickly but I'm just disappointed I was expecting some quality camera like you know superb superb quality camera but this is all right I'm not gonna mourn too much on this it's all right I think I'm quite happy with this you know it didn't meet my expectation but I'm happy you know I'm happy with the phone so let's go into the YouTube test now so we're gonna be testing the sound quality of this phone so let's see what we're gonna be getting when we tested the sound quality you know i just want to see how this phone does sound like you know it's not stereo speaker remember i told you earlier it's just single speaker which i kind of like it at least they're truthful here they're not trying to deceive you by putting another hole here dummy hole and you think it's stereo you're confusing your brain you know so let's let's jump into the test now Is that the highest volume? Yes, that's the highest volume. You keep on rolling on. You know? Keep on rolling. I think it's alright. The sound quality is okay, to be honest. Even if you cover it, you see, this is me covering it. Yeah. And the view angle is not bad either, you know. I'm still gonna tell this in a big way, anyway. So guys, I think that's everything about the Okitel unboxing, you know. For me, 
impression is all right expectation is high but not what i'm expecting you know i expected a lot from this phone but okay i understand i expect a lot but i didn't pay a lot so what does that mean it means i should be satisfied with what i'm getting i don't think i've wasted my money and i don't think i'll be afraid to recommend this phone to anyone i've not done the review i've not done the speed test i've not done the in-depth camera gaming there's still a lot to come with this phone i've not even compared this phone with the one in this price category you know there's miss alpha x there's dodgy mix 2 that i don't know let me know if you want me to compare it with any of the phone just let me know in the comments i will do as you wish you know just let me know but for me i think i like the quality build it's heavy 6300 million bar is not a joke come on it's not a joke it must be heavy so i think i'm fine with that disappointment about the camera not too not too bad because i knew it might not be true 21 megapixel but i think it's just sour as the normal 8 megapixel 12 megapixel from those old devices hey chinese oem if you're watching any of my video please take away this camera and give us one good quality just one one we don't need two we'll be fine with one just one good quality camera is fine we need that please don't give us dual camera nonsense anymore we're tired of this you know just nobody uses it i don't use it you know just give us one good camera quality you know to the level of one plus we'll be fine with that come on you can do it anyway guys that's the end of the video i do appreciate your time as usual thank you guys for watching my video and i will see you when i make a new video bye god bless